What is thought? How does it arise? Where does it reside? These questions have perplexed thinkers across the globe for centuries. The commonly held belief is that thought is a biological or cognitive process, a product of our brain's structure and function. It's seen as an internal process nestled within our skulls, influenced by genetics, hormones, and our environment. It's viewed as a rational and objective process, governed by logic, reasoning, and problem solving. But what if there's more to it? Enter Mulat Tazabu, a visionary thinker from Ethiopia who challenges these conventional views. His provocative theory suggests that thought is neither biological, internal, nor purely cognitive. Instead, he proposes that thought is a holographic, virtual, and creative phenomenon. Intrigued? Buckle up, because we're about to journey into the world of Mulat Tazabu's unique perspective on thought. Let's dive deeper into Mulat Tazabu's unique perspective on thought. According to Tazabu, thought is not a biological phenomenon, but a product of the consciousness system. This idea fundamentally challenges our conventional understanding of thought as being a byproduct of our brain's biological processes. Instead, Tazabu suggests that thought is independent of our physical bodies and can exist without them. In his view, thought is not a result of the intricate workings of our nervous system, but emerges from something he refers to as the consciousness system. This system, as Tazabu describes it, is non-physical and non-local, meaning it is not bound by the physical constraints of our bodies or even the limits of our perceivable universe. So, what is this consciousness system? Tazabu sees it as the source of all intelligence and awareness, the essence of who we are. It's a system that transcends the physical realm and is connected to a higher dimensional reality, a reality which he dubs the mind of God. This is the origin of all existence and intelligence, according to Tazabu. Following this line of thinking, thought becomes a method of accessing and expressing this consciousness system and the mind of God. Thought, as Tazabu conceives it, is a frequency of consciousness that resonates with a specific aspect of this higher dimensional reality. It's a wave of consciousness that travels through this reality, interacting with other waves of consciousness. In essence, thought is a pattern of consciousness that emerges from this higher dimensional reality, reflecting its structure and dynamics. It's not something that can be pinpointed within our brains or bodies because it's not physical. It's not bound by space or time, allowing it to transcend the limitations of our physical realm. It's not deterministic, meaning it's not predictable or controllable, and it can change and evolve according to free will. Finally, it's non-reductive, meaning thought cannot be broken down into simpler components or explained away by our current understanding of biology or neuroscience. Tazabu proposes that thought is a frequency of consciousness resonating with a specific aspect of this higher dimensional reality. This thought-provoking idea invites us to reconsider our understanding of thought, our consciousness, and ultimately, our reality. Tazabu further argues that thought is not internal, but rather a non-local phenomenon. This perspective challenges our conventional understanding and invites us to explore thought in a new light. According to Tazabu, thought is non-physical. It's not made of matter or energy, and it doesn't obey the laws of physics. Instead, thought is a wave, a frequency of consciousness that resonates with a specific aspect of a higher dimensional reality it transcends the physical realm, unbound by the constraints of space or time. This is why Tazabu insists that thought is non-local. Think of it this way, just as radio waves exist independently of the radios that receive them, thoughts exist independently of the brains that perceive them. They are part of a vast, interconnected network of consciousness that exists beyond our physical reality. Tazabu also suggests that thought is non-deterministic, it's not predictable or controllable. Instead, it evolves according to free will. It's a creative and spontaneous process, not a mechanical or deterministic one. It's akin to an artist creating a painting, not a computer executing a program. Finally, Tazabu posits that thought is non-reductive. It cannot be broken down into simpler components or explained by simpler phenomena. Each thought is a unique and irreducible pattern of consciousness 
that reflects the complexity and richness of the higher dimensional reality. In essence, Tazabu sees thought as a wave of consciousness that travels through the higher dimensional reality, interacting with other waves of consciousness. Each wave, each thought, is a unique expression of the higher dimensional reality, a distinct perspective on the world. The implications of this view are profound. If thought is non-local, then it's not confined to our brains or bodies. It's part of a larger interconnected network of consciousness that extends beyond our physical reality. If thought is non-deterministic, then it's a creative and spontaneous process, not a mechanical or deterministic one. If thought is non-reductive, then each thought is a unique and irreducible pattern of consciousness that reflects the complexity and richness of the higher dimensional reality. In Tazabu's view, thought is a pattern of consciousness reflecting the structure and dynamics of this higher dimensional reality. To recap, Tazabu's theory presents a radical departure from conventional thought theories. Mulat Tazabu's revolutionary perspective on thought challenges the traditional belief that thought is a biological and internal phenomenon. Instead, he posits that thought is independent of our physical bodies and is not confined within the walls of our skulls. Tazabu introduces the consciousness system, a non-physical, non-local entity that transcends the physical realm. This concept reframes our understanding of thought, suggesting it is not a product of the nervous system, but rather a manifestation of the consciousness system. He further contends that this system is the source of all intelligence and awareness, essentially, the essence of who we are. Venturing into the realm of the metaphysical, Tazabu links the consciousness system to a higher dimensional reality he refers to as the mind of God. This connection implies that thought is not merely a human capability, but a universal phenomenon originating from a higher realm of existence and intelligence. Tazabu also offers a new perspective on the nature of thought. He describes thought as a frequency of consciousness that resonates with specific aspects of the higher dimensional reality. This suggests that thought is a wave, traveling through this higher realm, interacting with other waves of consciousness. Furthermore, he sees thought as a pattern of consciousness that reflects the structure and dynamics of the higher dimensional reality. His theory further distinguishes thought by highlighting four key characteristics. First, thought is non-physical, not made up of matter or energy and doesn't obey the laws of physics. Second, it's non-local unbound by space or time, capable of transcending physical limitations. Third, it's non-deterministic, unpredictable, uncontrollable, and subject to free will. Lastly, it's non-reductive, not reducible to simpler components. Tazabu's theory challenges us to reevaluate our understanding of thought and its role in our existence. His revolutionary perspective invites us to look beyond the confines of our physical existence and explore the vast, interconnected consciousness that pervades the universe.